So I recently got this Rescue Kindle Gen 3 model number D00901. It was stuck on the battery depleted screen. I plugged it in and the LED turned orange for a while and then turned off. I unplugged it and plugged it back in several times. The LED was turning orange for a couple of seconds and then off. I opened it up and the original battery was kind of swollen, so I decided to get a new battery. I popped it in and put the Kindle to charge and, drum roll, nothing. The LED turned orange for a couple of seconds and then off. I measured the new battery and it showed 4 volts which meant it did have some charge. The Kindle eventually tried to start. The LED turned green for a couple of seconds and there was some progress on the screen, but then it froze again. I left it to charge overnight. Next morning I tried to boot it and it froze again. So I did some research on the internet and there were people indicated that the power switch as the cause recommending blowing compressed air over it. I did it and the Kindle started the cycle of trying to boot, freezing, trying to reboot in a loop. And then I thought to myself, the hard reboot procedure requires you to keep the power button pressed for 40 seconds. What if the power button is actually stuck on the on position? I had no way to measure this, but what I could do is take off the cap of the switch. So I poked it with a toothpick under the cap and loosened it up a bit. Took it off and removed the little lever inside. Looking inside, I could see no contacts. I stuck the toothpick in and scraped a little. Turns out there was some gunk at the bottom of the switch. I put some drops of isopropylic alcohol and scraped all the gunk out. Now the contacts were visible. What the gunk was, I cannot say. Maybe some liquid was spilled, but I have a hard time imagining this. There was no liquid damage or signs on the board or other parts. So I took some tweezers and shorted the contacts. The Kindle started, booted up and finally became fully functional. Go figure. I then put the Kindle to charge. It charged fully. I cleaned the lever contacts and placed it back. As a side note, the very small parts, the lever and the cap, both jumped while trying to place them and they were very hard to find, so be careful with that. But I put everything back together, tested the power button thoroughly and closed the back lid. And there you go, a fully functional Kindle 3rd gen. Hope this helps you if nothing else does.